nice to see everybody still alive in here. Still have 12 baby turkeys. We did lose one after two days. You guys hungry or what? Huh? Are you guys hungry or what? All right, ready? Ready? Attack of the chicks! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You guys want the other one or what? All right, next up is the pigs. So we put the electric fence up around it. And then Tiny, the dog, he kept trying to get in there to get to the pig's food. And uh, he got sh the shock of his lifetime. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning, pigs. I gave him the, I've been giving him all the pea shells from shelling the peas in the garden. So now when I give them corn, they don't want it. So I don't know if it was a good idea to give them the peas or not. Next up is the rabbits. Good morning, little girls and boys, whatever you are. You guys hungry? Here we go. Are you hungry? No, oh, you just want some pets, huh? You want some pets? All right, let's get some water. <laughs> That's our bucket of rainwater. Next up, Chicken Town. Good morning, ladies. How are we this morning? Love my pink bucket. Good morning, ladies. <laughs> you ladies aren't very hungry. I don't know what you guys are eating because you're never hungry. Have a good day. Leave me lots of eggs.
Fire ant biting me. Son of a pooch, that hurts. That's, that's a good amount of green beans. Mikey's green beans, they're starting. Little tiny beans on there. Owie. All right, let's grab the strawberries. I'm surprised at how many strawberries we've gotten off of this one plant. I think that's all that's ready for today. I usually get two. Sometimes I get three or four. This one will be ready tomorrow. That one will be ready tomorrow. This is a tomato plant that I took, I took it as a sucker off of one of the cherry tomato plants. So I just stuck it in the ground there. It's doing really good. Don't want to know what this vine is. It's growing in with the sweet potatoes. I thought it was pumpkin, but the flowers are too small to be pumpkin. And there's a fruit right there. I don't know, we'll find out. I think the peas are just about done for the season. I don't see any more flowers on the peas. I think they're about done. We've been harvesting peas for a few weeks anyways. Didn't get a whole lot. We need to grow them again in the fall and do a better job. This half a bed, that's just not enough. The first few times I harvested it, there was lots and lots of peas on it, and then they just got less and less each time. I thought that the more you harvested peas, the more they produce. But this was not the case here. But it's really, really hot here, too. It's, it's in the 80s every day. So I had the crazy idea that we could build a coop like this for the turkeys with some PVC. So we bought some uh, two by fours and some PVC and some fittings. And we're gonna try, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna try to build a coop for the turkeys, just like this greenhouse. So I'm hoping it works. I'm hoping we can make it I want to make it about 20 feet long and 10 feet wide is the plan. We need a good place to put the turkeys once they're like five or six weeks old, once they're all feathered out. So let's build this. We should have a pair of those cutters that just cut the pipe. Yeah. Cause it's going to be a lot of cutting. We don't. Yeah, I don't know. So we cut two six footers. That leaves us with two four footers. So let's see. We want to go here and here. It's our trial run. Uh, you know what we didn't get? What didn't we get? A single T. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Wait a minute. Yes, I did. There's two of them in there. One for each end. <sighs> but we don't need that. Yeah, well, not yet, though. What we need now is 
the 10 footer here so we know because this is the front so these are gonna attach see I wonder if we should how are we gonna do this because then the two by four the other two by four is gonna be attached on the outside of this right and then the pipe has to be attached to the outside of that two before we need two more 45s And then a T will go in the middle. It's 54. Alright, well, what's half of 54? Yes. Now, but see, I was going to go like this. I was going to say 54, and now subtract... What is that, inch and a half? Yeah. 54 minus inch and a half. 52 and a half. So then you cut the 52 and a half in half. So it's 52 and a half divided by two. All right, so these are 26 and a quarter. So if we did this right, they should go here, here. Whoops, that actually goes, it don't matter, but it goes that way. And then here to here. Remember all of our measurements? And it's not glued, so it's all gonna turn. Oh wow, that is tall. How come it didn't seem that tall laying down? That's way too tall. No, it ain't. <laughs> the turkeys are gonna wanna fly. All right, so we need to make five more of these, just like this. Okay, so this is all the sixes and four foot pieces. We're gonna put a 45 between the six foot and the four foot and glue all these together and then we'll go from there. Bugs. I measured it. Okay. I really don't mean nothing. Did you shake that up before you open it? Yeah. You should leave these open. It's easier, you got a lot to do. Yeah, well, you can't leave them open, they'll evaporate. No, they won't. And he's going to put a million nails in there, right? Yep. So we got these um, conduit clamps that will go around the pipe like this and screw it to the two befores
piece. You saw him? Drag the bundle over. Nobody needs to do nothing except you need to get your butt on the ladder. You didn't put your ladder close enough. Hey guys, I know it's a terrible way to end the video, but while we were working, the stove that I ordered for the outdoor kitchen came in, and we spent the next few days looking for parts to get it all hooked up. We got it all hooked up, and I tried to make cookies, and the door exploded. We called Home Depot, and they're going to bring me another stove later this month. But thanks for watching, and the rest of this video will be coming soon.